Hey, it's Brian with the Midnight Mechanic. Today we're going to show you how to replace the distributor cap and rotor in a large cap GM HEI. So we have this junk distributor sitting in the shop and um, we're going to show you some features and how to get it off because it's easier to see it on the workbench rather than in the car tucked up behind the engine. So as you can see here, it's got these little hooks that hook in to the bottom of the distributor. Now these are spring loaded and you just use a flathead screwdriver or or a Phillips head screwdriver. We just use a flathead screwdriver. Um, and you put it in and you turn it until it unlocks. And you do that with all of them. And then it comes off. You can see here that there's a notch in the distributor. And there's a key right here that prevents the distributor from being installed in the wrong position make sure that you have that right there latched together now to remove the rotor it's just two Phillips head screws And you just install the new one the same way. Now, you also have underneath here is this rotor button. If you're not replacing it with a new coil as well, you're swapping your old coil over, you need to remove this. This is just the coil cap. Put this aside, and here's your coil. Anyway, like I said, this is a junk distributor, so this is rounded off, so it's trash anyway. But under here is a rotor button and there's an insulator between that and the coil. Um, more than likely, you want to replace that too and most of the kits will come with it. Um, we're actually using an MSD um, cap and rotor and it comes with a different insulator and rotor button that can handle higher heat um, off of the coil because we're going to be running external timing control on it. But that's something you don't really need to worry about um, because you're probably just installing a cap and a uh, cap and rotor on it. So we'll show you what it looks like in the car and how to do it there, but now you get the general idea how to do it. So now we're here, we wanna go ahead and remove the plug wires and the distributor cap. Now, some cars have a smaller um, distributor cap. You can actually take it off and install a new one without taking the wires off. That comes in handy because then you can just reinstall the wires, you know, pull one off, put it on in the correct order. This one's kind of big, so it's kind of hard to get in and out of the way. So what I do is I'll find the number one spark plug. And I know that it's right here. So what I'll do is I'll put a mark right there on it. So that way when I get it off, I know that that's where I want to start with redoing my spark plugs. Now you're going to have to take all the electrical connections off. And then pull all your plug wires off. Now we're gonna undo those J hooks like I showed you before. The 
This one in the back could be a little bit tricky. So I have a shorter screwdriver that I can use to get it to stop. A lot of cars you have more room back here. So now we have it off. Now we can go ahead and pull that off, swap this off. This one's cracked, which is why we're replacing it. Um, someone dropped it at some point and uh, it got cracked, so it needs to be replaced. Now we're going to do just what we showed you over there. Take this off, take the uh, coil off, stick it in there. Um, so we'll show you how to do that. Okay, so now we have our old cracked cap with the coil in it and our new cap here. So what we're going to do is we're going to transfer that coil over to this one. Now that rotor button that we talked about earlier will show you when you get it off. But the MSD kit comes with two separate, um, two separate insulators and contacts. So we got all our screws, keep them together so you don't lose them. And under here, once you take these off, careful with this ground wire here. So under here is the insulator and this contactor, you can see down there. Now the MSD kit comes with two different ones. One of them is this full brass one, one of them has this little sleeve. This one with the little black kind of sleeve on it is the factory GM one. And we're not using that one. We're gonna use this MSD one with the different insulator. So we're gonna stick this down in here. And then we're gonna take this coil out. And when you take it out, you're gonna to have to push these connectors out as well. Because they're gonna reuse those in the new distributor. this little ground piece out as well. Now we're going to reinstall these pieces in this one. Don't forget your insulator. Set it down in there. You can see that. And this is going to sit right on top of it. your screws in. Make sure you have that ground good. Tighten them back down. Don't over tighten them because it's just going down into plastic. Now reinstall these down there and you can see they're shaped so you can't stick them in the wrong hole. So we'll put that one in. That one in, make sure the wires are 
tuck down in there. Go ahead. And put your cap back on. Also making sure not to over tighten because you're just screwing it down into plastic. There we go. Now it's ready to be reinstalled on the car. Now, just remember those J-hooks. It's the same way that you um, took it off. You're gonna wanna take your screwdriver ahead of time and kind of pre-lock these out of the way. So you can get it down on there easier. So now they're all out of the way. You can slide it down there. Don't forget your little key. Sit it on there. Look at your distributor, and you can see that that's number one right after the coil connection. So you know that's where you're going to start wiring your spark plug wires. So you're going to mount it, push those down, go ahead and put your plugs in. Don't forget your wiring, and then you're good to go. Everything is replaced and should function. Now... We showed you how to replace that. Um, we're not going to do it on the car because we're actually doing a little bit extra work on the distributor um, for the fuel injection system. So we're not going to show you how to install that, but we showed you how to install it on this. It's basically, this goes back on. See, there's a notch there. Sorry. See, there's a notch right there. That's how you know it's sitting right. Tighten it down, and that's it. You're good to go. So now you see how easy it is to replace the cap and the rotor and the coil in a GM large cap HEI. Now, other ones are even easier. They don't have the coil in the cap. Um, it's a separate external coil with a coil wire going to it. Super simple. Um, basically, all you need to make sure that you do is get your firing order correct. Um, and that's why we showed you to put that little tick there so you know where to start with your number one cylinder and then run your firing order based off of that. Um, we're not putting it back on the car right now. That's why we didn't show that to you. We're doing some other work for doing timing control um, on our fuel injection system in there. So that's why we didn't reinstall it. But we showed you how the cap goes on and off on this um, trash distributor earlier. So you can figure it out. Put it down, put the locks down there, make sure you wire it up, get your firing order correct, and it's that easy. Um, this is one of the first things I learned how to do on a car. Uh, a lot of newer cars don't have distributors, but if you're into old cars and you want to work on old stuff, um, this is something you really need to learn how to do because all older cars have this kind of stuff. Um, so if you have anything else you'd like to learn, uh, post down below in the comments. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Midnight Mech. Follow us on TikTok at The Midnight Mechanic and subscribe down below and we'll see you guys next time.